friends and welcome back to another episode of My Lemonade Life. I'm Debbie and today we are going to make some fancy football snacks. Not really fancy, but football snacks. We are going to make some snacks. How did I get this old? <laughs> Thinking that oyster crackers were just for soup. You guys, I... um. I've had an awakening. <laughs> There's a lot more you can do with the oyster crackers than just put them on soup. So today we're gonna to do a couple of variations of a ranch um, oyster cracker, or maybe not even the ranch, the snack crackers. Um, a few weeks ago, my daughter and I were at a trade show and we went past this booth and they, they say, come and taste our crackers, come taste our crackers. And so we went over and they had these little packets of mix and it was $8.95 for a packet of mix to make your cute little crackers into something really delicious. And I, of course my brain started, <laughs> the wheels started turning and I was like $8.99 for some salt and ranch dressing mix and some other things. And so I came home and kind of did my own experimentation and playing around with it. And um, today we're gonna make some buffalo, some hot spicy buffalo crackers, and we're gonna make some ranch crackers. You can mix them, you can eat them separate, however you wanna do it. I guarantee you, okay, I've never had a flaming hot Cheeto, but I have tasted this, and I, I think this is probably as hot, if not hotter, than those hot flaming Cheetos, which makes it the perfect road trip snack. So um, those will keep you awake, you know, it just kept, you kinda of keep, Yep, yep, have another little drink. <laughs> yep, yep, have another little sip of your soda or whatever. <laughs> and you just keep on driving. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna just make these up really quick. They're super easy, super quick. And um, you can make them with as few ingredients as you want or as many ingredients as you want. A few weeks ago, you might remember, we did some, uh, some saltines with cinnamon and sugar. Today, we're gonna use oyster, oyster crackers and um, I'm gonna start with the ranch really quick, and I have my little jar here. This is three quarters of a cup of butter, and we're gonna use um, two small bags of oyster crackers with this. You can up your butter a little bit if you want. Um, I, I tend to like my things not quite so buttery, but if you want to, you can. Okay, so the easiest way for me, I think, to do it is to put the salad dressing. So this is two tablespoons of ranch dressing mix. Yeah, it's the same as one packet. So um, I have the big, I always buy the big thing because I love ranch dressing. So I just did two tablespoons because that's what's in a packet. Okay, so if you get a packet, then that's what you need. This is a quarter um, teaspoon of lemon pepper, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of dill. And I'm just gonna put it in this jar and hope that it shakes without leaking. <laughs> I'm gonna shake it very carefully. We're just gonna shake it around. Look how pretty that is. Okay, you guys, it's that easy. And your kids can do this. And then we're gonna open up these. I've got one that's open because the kids found them. And of course, these are their favorite. And so we're gonna dump these in a Ziploc bag. And maybe, um, I think they'll all shake. So we'll do two bags, and I think they'll shake with all the stuff in them. We'll, we'll save a handful for this other one. Okay, um, so I'm gonna pour this over. With, make sure you get all the goodies out of the bottom because that's where all the flavor is. And then we're just gonna shake these up real quick. You guys, I thought my grandma knew all the snack tricks, but I never had these. So I'm just gonna shake them up, get all the goodies. And you can make um, double batches, triple batches. You guys, these will keep for a while in your cupboard, and um, especially if you keep them sealed. If you're in a humid environment, they may not last as long, but um, if you don't keep them sealed up really good, but look at all this buttery, delicious goodness. Now I'm gonna just lay these out on this pan. Okay, there are varying schools of thought on this. One is that you, um, 
Oh, it smells so good. It smells delicious. You guys, you can put these in a salad instead of croutons. Yum, yum. Um, the two schools of thought are that you can bake these or you can just let them sit on your counter for a few hours and, and toss them around and let them dry out naturally. I like to bake them because I want to, probably because I want to eat them sooner. <laughs> I don't know why I want to bake them. I just want to bake them. Because then I know they'll be pretty dry and crispy. Okay. So I put parchment paper on my pans just for easy cleanup. Um, you don't have to, they're not gonna stick. Uh, you can use foil if you prefer foil. You can use a foil pan, like those ones you get at Sam's Club in bulk if you want. And then these are gonna go in the oven at 250 for about 20 minutes. And I'm gonna watch them and you know stir them around and make sure that they don't um, burn. And I'll, I think I'm going to put them all in at the same time. Okay, so the next one, you guys, this one is so easy. Also, mm. oh, I know I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, but sometimes I have to taste. So um, the next one is super easy. Uh, I found this mix at the store. I'm gonna come over here. Someday, someday I'm gonna get a longer arm. And um, it is air fryer buffalo wings. Or red hot, Frank's red hot air fryer buffalo seasoning. So this, we are gonna use this. And I think I've only got a smaller packet of crackers, so I think I'm only gonna use half to start with because it is super, super spicy. Oh, what the heck, should we use the whole thing? We'll just do it. We'll just do it. We'll pretend. <laughs> well, there's really no pretending. It's either hot or it's not, right? Okay. And I'm just gonna mix it around in this bag. Guys, look, it looks hot, doesn't it? Hot and spicy. And then I'm gonna dump the rest of these crackers in here. We've got just that little handful from the other bag. So these are 10 ounce bags. So I think this is probably about 12 ounces that we're putting in here. And I found this, um, I found this at Walmart. I looked at a couple of other places and couldn't find anything hot and spicy. And, um, and you could make your own if you wanted to, but I thought, well, if I'm gonna, you know, if I can find a hot and spicy mix, why would I sit there and measure out the spices? Cause I want quick and easy. And I think it was 219. But um, let's go back to the cost of those cracker mixes. My goodness. When I looked at those and it was 899, so 895, 899 for a, a seasoning mix for your crackers, you had to go home and put your own oil on it, on your own crackers. I'm thinking that's like a $12 box of crackers at least. So, um, you know me, I'm a little bit frugal. <laughs> and so, so I started thinking, how can I how can I do that? Because they were delicious. I'm not gonna lie, they were absolutely delicious. And so I thought, well, we can do that. We can figure that out. So, anyway, here we are figuring it out, right? Okay, so these are look, all shook up and ready to lay out on the pan. So we were we we are going to stick these in the oven and let them warm up and dry. Just, just kind of let the oil absorb. We're not drying them out necessarily. We're just letting the oil absorb so it's not, so you don't pick it up and have, you know, greasy fingers. Especially if you're having the guys over to watch a game and then they wipe them on your couch or whatever. You don't want that. <laughs> Okay, you guys, these look so delicious. Look at that gorgeous color. So when we serve these, we can either mix them up so people can get like a few hot ones with their ranch, or we can serve them separately and let everybody decide what they want. But tell me in the comments what you think you would do, okay? I'm gonna stick these in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then I'll pull them out, and we will taste them. 
maybe I'll, no, <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I'll get the grandkids to come over and just kind of surprise them and see which ones they like best. But we won't do that, we won't torture them. So we'll be back in just a few minutes and have a little taste and we'll see you soon. Oh, you caught me, you guys. These are addicting. I'm a little bit nervous because they are so good. This one is not as spicy as I thought it would be, but it is. it does have some kick to it. And this one is ranch with a little bit of dill and things like that, so it's a little bit more mellow. So I do like spicy food though, so maybe my, my spicy taste buds might be different than your spicy taste buds. But I think the two combined are absolutely delicious. Buffalo Ranch. You guys, if you love this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And there's a little bell in the corner. If you hit that, then you get notifications of when we do another video. You guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch up with you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.